welcome to Artmen. Today I would like to show you how to use fabric paint like a dye. I will be using Dynaflow. First of all, this is a fabric paint, not a dye. So I need to shake it up before I use it. Advantages to using something like a fabric paint over a dye mean that you don't have to pre-soak your fabric in soda ash. It actually doesn't have to be a natural fiber. It could be a synthetic. This is going to be a silk, which is typically a more difficult fiber to dye. You can do this on a t-shirt, anything you wanted to, as long as it's a light. These are transparent, just like a dye. So you still want it to be a white or a very light fabric that it goes on to. Once it's done, you heat set it with an iron and that makes it perfectly launderable and still soft to the touch, just like a dye. So let's do it. Make sure that you shake up your Dynaflow before using it. And I should mention that Dynaflow is not like every other fabric paint. See how liquidy it is? It's just like water. Most fabric paints that you find will be a little bit more viscous, closer to an acrylic. And those are not as good for this type of process. We want it to be so liquidy that it actually feels like a dye when we're putting it on. This is a nice soft synthetic brush that's pretty absorbent. I'm going to use this to apply my dye. It gives me just a little more control over where it goes. When you're using these paints like a dye, you could put them into a little squirt bottle if you wanted to apply them like you would if you were on doing a tie dye or something of that nature. But I like the difference that a brush gives you on exactly where you're putting the color. And it actually leaves some white spaces in your finished piece, which I think is really beautiful. So I've chosen two colors that I know mix well. This is a cranberry and a violet. Of course, you can use the primary colors like a lot of people do with tie-dye. This is non-toxic, which is awesome. That means you can use it with kiddos. And if you get it on you, it's not a huge health concern. But I do still wear gloves because it is a little difficult to get off of surfaces once it's on there. Cool. Now, as I mentioned before, you can also pour or squirt them on. It will just penetrate into the uh, piece a little bit further. There we go. It's done. Once you have your piece coated in color, this is the cool part. This is really another place where it's a big difference between a dye. Now you're done. Ta-da! You don't have to wait 48 to 72 hours for this to be finished and then go through this huge rinse process. You really just need to wait for it to dry. And in this case, I'm not even going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and open this up so you can see what has happened and how it looks like a dye. So I'm going to take my rubber bands off. And again, I mentioned that I brushed it on, so I will have white spaces in here but I have this beautiful spiral. Looks just like a tie-dye. Did it in under two or three minutes. I'm gonna let this dry. I'll heat set it with an iron and it's completely launderable. So you can do this on a shirt, pants, socks, pillowcases, anything, any type of fabric. They're way fun to make. <laughs> 